Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Celtic video. We have some news. Well, it's not the best of news as you'd, you'd want to hear. Um, coming from Celtic again. Um, but before we get it, guys, please subscribe and like. Um, we've had recently, um, of course, the match. Um, match preview. I've got prediction really. Uh, game week. Um, twenty thirty-two. I think it's thirty-two. Um, with a special guest from um inst over on Instagram. Please go and follow him. I left it in the description in the last video. Please go follow him. He's close to ten point five thousand um followers. So go and follow. He's also doing like a raffle. Uh, not a raffle. Like, yeah, but like a raffle. Um, and all the money goes to I think chai or something. But Go to his, his, his Insta and I'll explain more there. But guys, let's get in the video. Celtic have not enjoyed um, the best run of luck over the past several months. Of course, the performances haven't been up to the mark either, but one cannot deny that injuries and the pandemic-related suspensions have had their part to play as well in the Hoops' disastrous season. One man who has had to endure some terrible luck is Christopher Julian. The Frenchman spent the first part of the season recovering from a back injury that kept him out for, of action for months. I remember that. It was a sore on that one. Um, he was impressive after returning though and looked like he had nailed down a spot in the first team. Only to suffer a knee injury after colliding with the post trying to prevent a goal. He did. And we won 2-0, uh, 3 now against the Dundee United game. So that was good. But sadly, we do lose him for a while. In hindsight, it would have been much better to concede that goal. Mm. The earlier assessment uh, had been that you'd be out for three or four months, but now it looks like the situation is worse than uh, was first believed. After the defender travelled back to France, Lennon confirmed that he would be out of action for six to nine months. While speaking with the media in a press conference, Lennon said he'd be out for a long period of time, maybe, maybe be six to nine months, and he's just going back to do some rehab in France. That is very bad news. I mean, six and eight months? Ah, oh, this is. Six months time, like, you've got, so we're in February right now, March, April, May, June, July, August. You're talking between August. August is six months. September, October. You're talking August and November, and Julian will be back. And the injury was in December there. Wow. That is... Safe to say, the defence has been the biggest area of weakness for Celtic this season. Well, no hints to Duffy, but... Well, it's not like a, a player capable of starting his team. And with Julian out of action, Ayer has been the only consistent performer in the entire back line. To be honest, that's now including Welsh, who's been forming a wee bit good. Hopefully we'll start on Sunday against Ross County, hopefully you will. Um, things could um, have been very different if Julian had managed uh, to stay fit though. The Hoops have played the best football of their season in the period between when he returned from his back injury and the ultimate knee injury after colliding with the post. His absence has made it clear though that he is a very important part of the Super squad and was probably not appreciated enough for his performances last season. Um, yeah, um, all we can do now though is hope that he recovers quickly and is back on the pitch for the club as soon as possible and my best of wishes goes to Julian to get a speedy recovery. Um, and yeah, that is the whole video in itself guys. Um, I mean, it is very, very bad news to be, to be fair, it is to lose a crucial centre back. You know you're talking, you've got Ayer, Welsh. Duffy and Beaton, if Beaton, if you want to play Beaton at centre backs too, we've only got four, four replacements for that, that centre, that defensive role, which is not good, when you think about where Shane Duffy won't be playing, Shane Duffy will be gone, so, you know, it's we'll see, I'm hoping that we'll get a rebuild in the summer, I'm hoping Lennon will be gone in the summer, I'm hoping we'll get new players done, which will be good. And I'm hoping we'll be back for next season fighting for the title once again. For, you know, getting that title again. You know, 
all we need now is just win games up until the end of the season, see what Rangers do. That that's all you can do. Because well we're fifteen points behind. It's not like we're gonna win the league, but you know, uh stranger things have happened before. But injuries have hit as hard as it's like it's a bit like our Liverpool season, isn't it? Where it's going as far as COVID, uh like Van Dyke injuries like Julian, I know I know it's a big comparison, big comparison, but it's the injury at defence, I mean, like the defensive for Liverpool. That's what I'm talking about. Really. So guys, thank you for watching the the video just to catch up a bit on Julian's injury, where it is and how long we're about for and it was it is a very long time, six, nine months, August and November he'll be back. That's all uh, nearly a whole year gone without him. I mean, you're know, talking like the season's over in May. The season's actually already over, but you know, May time the actual season's over. And then you're talking pre season, manager, new manager. You know, Julian might doesn't even you know he might he might know the manager bit in Zoom calls. You know he might not get into that team for a while. 